So hi guys welcome back to another Galaxy S7 video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install the Galaxy S7's no good update no matter what country do you live uh, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Sun it doesn't matter you will be able to update your Galaxy S7 successfully to the no good and without like losing your data but there are two methods of doing it and two steps of doing it so let's just get on with the first step and the two methods first of all take a backup of your device cause of course if you are shifting the firmware from one country to the another like mine is the FD this is the Indian one so I'm shifting it to the UK one my data will be lost and also I will recommend to wipe off your data before installing Nougat cause Nougat is not a minor update the whole system has been changed over here from the apps to the UI to the camera everything has been changed so I will recommend to do a full wipe so there are two methods of backing up your device one is with the PC you can use the smart switch on the PC to back up your whole device but mainly most of the people you don't have PC and you can't trust any other PC to keep your data so I'm going to show you another method so you can copy your data back again and get your device uh, same as before so download the app called super backup this will help you to back up all of your apps now I don't have any apps I can uh, usually download it back from the Play Store SMS I can back up all of messages or in, in XML contacts I can back up that just like that I have 108 contacts over here if you have a memory card or OTG you can just basically copy down the whole internal storage over there and you will get everything just like your WhatsApp messages and everything and sorry if this uh, screen flickering is annoying you it's because of my iPhone's camera problem you have to copy it down your whole of the internal storage as I'm going to do on my PC so let's just go to the PC so as you can see we are right now on the PC and I have already copied down my whole internal storage over here on my desktop so my device is successfully backed up now let's just go to the browser type Sam mobile and sorry for the echo I'm right now in the huge bedroom so we are on the site right now we are in the firmware section and be sure you have logged in your account right now i have already downloaded the firmware so i will not do that again now i have a galaxy s7s so let's just type in here it is galaxy s7s 935 f so here it is the list of firmwares now there are two methods over here right now you can just push out your united kingdom united kingdom or any other uh, firmware over here on your galaxy s7s or you can just wait until it gets to your country but the thing is you can already install this firmware but according to the country it would be very good but if you want to install the no good right away here it is let's just go for the united kingdom cause right now only two countries are available with the no good over here as you can see saudi arabia and everything are on mark let's go for the united kingdoms regular download as we added the free account let's just create a new window over here and extract it right away now until it extracts we have to, to put our galaxy s7 into the download mode by pressing the power button just power it off hold down the volume down power and the home button at the same time there you go now connect your galaxy s7 to your pc and press the volume up now you are in the download mode now after the extraction you have to download the latest version of samsung drivers link in the description and also the odin which is also in the description here it is open the odin now if you are running the same country as you are installing the firmware on your galaxy s7 it will not wipe your data but if for example i'm on the 935 fd which is the indian model and i am flashing the uk version it will forcefully wipe my data because of the change in the modem so go to the options page if you are changing your device country please select erase all go to the folder where you have extracted it and rename it from md5 to only tar this will this will save your much of data if you are on a slow pc or a laptop in order to flash your firmware and if it says com6 or any uh, other usb port that means the device has been successfully connected here i have the firmware if the bootloader cp now in terms of cac just one normal one don't go for the home one let it add go to the logs and just hit the start see over here it's in uh, erasing our galaxy s7 we can uh, usually back the galaxy s7 to the smart switch as i told you before but as you know we are going to the file and you are copied down all of your internal storage and here is the s7 backup which uh, which is used by the super backup tool in order to it will take around 8 to 10 minutes in order to install and our device will be ready. As you can see the Galaxy S7 is right now in the download mode. It might give some red or blue errors over here but that's just okay firmware has been installed and it should say pass over here and our galaxy s7 is right now updating successfully into the official logat so after five to eight minutes the galaxy s7 has been finally booted up as you know it's a very powerful device and it doesn't take a lot of time it shows over here united kingdoms and successfully no got over here network and dual sims fully working as you know it gives like a new information over here also then some of the new animations which are not seen by me in the 
of betas but as you can see you can get your content from the samsung cloud that's a new like a samsung note 7 feature which was in the last build of the marshmallow i guess somewhere near november and you are finally successfully updated your galaxy s7 to your 7.0 no good as you can see now as i told you there are some differences between the uh, regions so samsung takes a bit time in order to give you some ota and sometimes it doesn't even give a ota for example android pay doesn't work in india but in uk android pay works so android pay app is over here now with indian firmwares are the most deep loaded firmwares of the samsung and they are pretty fast uh, if you flash the indian firmware you can get network connectivity in every other country but for example if you flash like a uae one you get some islamic calendar some arabic uh, apps or everything if you install this uk one these are the most battery friendly also the korean and the indian ones are a bit faster firmwares which is a bit weird thing i don't know why they give that but here you go new notification panel let's just go to the settings about device software info 7.0 and those who people are saying this is not an official firmware yes this is an official firmware we are not getting 7.1.1 at least until the galaxy s8 t1 releases and even if it releases i don't know whether the samsung will change the whole base firmware because it's not just going to 7.1 to 7.1 it's a whole new framework change in terms of if you look at the development but as you go here is the new edge panel now we'll not go into the deep because i've made some separate videos on that you can click the tiles over here so guys thanks for watching this was a video how you can install galaxy sms no good update in any country hope you guys enjoyed and if you find this helpful please drop a like and i will be making more videos on galaxy s7 so see you guys around peace